Hey everyone, today I'm, I am on my second location, my main mangrove location, and today is August 9. I'm trying to finish those hives pulling honey. I already pulled honey a few days ago from these hives, and now I have to finish those hives. And I want to show you guys how I'm gonna check my bees if they have varola. So basically you will need some alcohol, uh, some kind of bucket or anything else to shake bees inside. It's better if you use white st stuff so you can see mites a lot easier. And the way we are gonna do it, we'll shake some bees in there in alcohol and we are gonna see if any of Varola mites is gonna fall down. So here is guys, good way to check for Varola mites is to pull out, pull out drone brood and see if they're gonna have any mites over the drone larva. Yeah guys, so as you can see, they're running all over the drone, drone larva. And here is tons of them. So it means we have to go ahead and treat treat the mites. The best way to kill them, just throw them in the smoker and burn them down. Yep. And as always guys, I like to spray my bees every time when I work with them with essential oils it makes them a little bit happier and healthier filling up our pan with alcohol you don't really, you don't need a lot maybe about half inch just to make sure that bees are gonna drown in it and now we are trying to find out a good frame to shake. In this case you have to make sure you don't sh shake your queen. Because if you are going to shake your queen in alcohol, she is going to die. So before you shake frame, just try to look for a queen. Very good. Okay, so I'm going to stop on this frame. Here is a lot of brood catching out. You can see here young bees on a frame, old bees on a frame, open larva. So here is probably plenty of varola. Just one more time, make sure that queen is not here. And try to shake very quick your bees. Make sure they, they're gonna drown in alcohol. This way is not the best way to check for varola. I wouldn't do it if I don't have to make it for a video. In my case, I would just go ahead and treat them because I know it's August and next honey crop is gonna be in September, middle of September. So August is perfect time in Florida to treat varroa mites. But because I I wanted to make a video, so I decided to go ahead and show you guys how you get that stuff done. Okay, so what do you wanna do next? You wanna put all of these bees in a jar. Close them up and shake them very good just to make sure that all varola mites are gonna fall down out of bees. But I can tell you, I already can see plenty of mites here. Here is about 1500 bees. So if you also want to know how many varolas you got in percent you can find out some formulas in the internet and account them by the formula and shake them up for about 30 30 seconds maybe one minute so what do you want to do next you want to open your jar and dump all of this bees back in here and what you want to do, you just wash 
follow this beast in alcohol and try to look for Varroa. I don't know if you can see them, but all these dark spots are mites. And try to pull them to the wall or somewhere in the corner. So as you can see guys, here is gonna be plenty of Varroa mites. Because I haven't been treating mm -hmm. them for past 5-6 months. Last time they were treated in March, right after winter. It's been a long time. I finished washing my bees. And you can see how many mites I found here. About 22 mites. It's pretty high number. So I'm gonna go ahead and treat my bees in next week. Basically that's all. And as I said, if I wouldn't have to make that, this video, I wouldn't kill that many bees. I would just go ahead and treat them right away. Because it's just August is the time of the season when you got mites anyway. So don't need to waste your bees. Just go ahead and treat them next time without killing them. Basically that's all, thank you for watching and take care of your bees, bye.